everybody. Today on The Daily Dose, I want to talk to you about the importance of having one version and one understanding of the behaviors that are required to build a legacy inside of a business. And what I call this usually is one version of the truth. What's interesting, as we work to transform businesses, as we work to elevate our organization and our leadership inside of our company, we very quickly work on action items or fixes. And we don't think about the behaviors and the DNA that we really need to embed in our organization so that we are a sustainable, different kind of company at the end of our labors, at the end of our work. So what I want to do is share with you the quiz that I've created so that you can really do two things. Create clarity with your organization and as a leader of what behaviors the best companies take in how they earn, build and live this kind of legacy and this kind of growth in the, in the marketplace that fuses people to them. So if you don't mind, what I'm going to do now is share my screen with you so I can walk you through this and give you an opportunity to really see why I built this the way that it did and how it can help you bring your organization together to not only focus, but to also have clarity and unite as you're not only solving problems, but building this higher purpose of how you want to show up in the marketplace, of how you want to be remembered. So I'm just going to uh, share my screen. Okay, so here we go. Um, what's important about this is that this quiz is going to actually give you the set of behaviors that really show up in the marketplace about who you are as people. All of those things that really end up fusing people to you and creating legacy. Because it's not just what we do, it's how we do it. And, you know, I had to wax poetic here a little bit. Experience is, in its purest form, leadership bravery. It is bravery in making choices that enable people to rise and really put your company in a position to show up differently, to show up as a different kind of company. So there's four categories that what we've seen in doing this work for a long time and in the prove out work that we've done, there's four big categories that really do um, choose and move an organization's behavior to show up differently. Number one is, are your employees thriving? Now, I can't go through all of this with you because it would take too long, but what you're going to see when you start each quiz is an overview of what this means and then a set of very specific questions that, and I like to say that I wrote these so there's no wiggle room in them. You can't wiggle your way out of saying, yeah, we do that. So you're going to see in each section specifics. So are our people valued as the foundation of our company? What we know is that the most admired companies really do honor their people. Um, do we enable them to act? Do we pen them in? Do we lead from trust with them? Do we elevate them to rise? So what will happen is you'll be able to push the button on where you are. And this is really, again, behaviorally driven. Do we always do it? Never do it. Sometimes do it. Because that's the thing that's important as you're leading a transformation and as you're uniting your leadership team is that you start with where everyone is and recognize that people are in different places, understand why, and then start to make the advancement. So this, this quiz has four sections for you. Are your employees thriving? The second section is around do we, do we do things that make our customers feel not only respected, but also honored, that, you know, that we honor them because they honor us with their business? Do we enable them to achieve their goals? And then finally, do acts of leadership bravery stand out? So here's what I'd like you to do with this quiz to make it an action tool for you and also really a part of your transformation so that you can move toward those behaviors that are embedded and elevate your company. Because what we know, as I mentioned, is that it's not what we do only, it's how we do it. And are we embedding sustainable business behaviors in how we act ourselves and how we grow the business and how we lead? So the first thing I would do is go through the quiz, go through all four sections of the quiz yourself so that you can acquaint yourself with it. So that's action one. Take the quiz. What you'll find is at the end of it, you're going to get dials for each section that addresses where you are and you're always never. 
The second thing um, that you should do or that I would recommend that you do is now have your leadership team take it. And I, if you're interested, we're working on a tool so that you can engage people and compare the results. Just email me at gene at customerbliss.com. Um, and so have your leadership team take it. And if you can, facilitate a conversation about the outcome of that. What's important about this is that we create a baseline of your starting point. That's why I call it one version of the truth. What this will do is just having your leaders take this quiz. It will create clarity around the behavior so that this work is not just about fixing or solving problems. It's about really how we embed a new set of behaviors in how we take care of our employees and how we build honor and respect and how we lead from customers' goals and in how we take those honorable, brave acts to show up. The next thing that I would do, act number three, is to then cascade that to the middle leadership of your organization because what we know is that sometimes at the senior level, there's real clarity, but it becomes a game of telephone as it translates into the rest of the organization as they have separate KPIs, separate uh, focuses, they're more short, short term, or they're trying to manage their area of the business. So if you go through those three steps, take the quiz yourself, you may actually also, when you take the quiz, want to break up how you unite people to get one version of the truth by each section. First do it for employees then do it around honor and respect, then do it around goals, and then finally around leadership bravery. It, that's how we're seeing that it works sometimes too as you break it up into bite-sized pieces. So number one, take the quiz yourself. Number two, engage and unite your leadership team and use it as an opportunity to create clarity, to help them have one version of understanding and then begin to focus. And then number three, do this with your middle leaders inside the organization. Then break it into bite-sized pieces. I love these four categories. You may want to take one category at a time. That's it for me today on this Daily Dose. Hope this provides real value with, me, with you and for you. This quiz was uh, something that I took a lot of time to write because I wanted to, as I mentioned before, make these questions so specific that you can't wiggle out of them, that you really either can say, yes, we are doing this, or no, we're not truly doing this comprehensive set of actions that will yield us this outcome. Till next time. Thanks, everybody.